for now. Basically, what we have talked about in this class when we're doing problems like this is what we want to make sure that we have is a problem. We've got to set this equal to 0, right? So unfortunately, in this case, we don't have our equation equal to y or equal to fx. So we need to set it equal to 0. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to get all of our terms to the same side. Now, I know, I know. Everybody asked me about that. I always like to have, Marissa, I'm talking right now. I always like to have my, my leading coefficient positive. Okay? I don't want my leading coefficient negative because that's going to, it be, just makes it a little more difficult when I'm factoring. Okay? So now, do you guys see how this is set equal to 0? Does everybody agree with me? What? Okay. Does everybody see how this is set equal to 0? Okay. So if you want me to move over to there, that's fine. Does everybody see that? OK. Now what we need to do is we need to say, well, we need to factor this. Now the problem is this is not to the second power, right? It's not a quadratic. This is actually a quartic, right? And it's a trinomial, right? Trinomial, and it's a quartic, meaning a polynomial to the fourth power. So you could say that the degree is 4 and the leading coefficient is 1. Very good. Yes. I'm sorry, you're going to have to move everything because this is where I need to stand. So if you need to move to go and find it, then just let me do it. But just either wait till I move to the other side, which I'll try to do, or just find a different seat for you, OK? Um, so here I have x to the fourth minus 10x squared plus 16. So I need to factor this. So as I mentioned to you guys, when I'm factoring, can I factor anything out? Do all three of these terms share anything? No. OK, so then what I do is I just write it in the quadratic form. And I say, all right, you know what? Can I factor this using just my basic quadratics that I know? Um, please go around that way, please. Because we need to know how to factor this, right? Remember the two rules. When factoring a polynomial to a higher power, first, factor out the GCF, or two, write the factors as higher powers. Well, we don't know what the factors are. So let's factor it the way we know how to do it and see if it will work, OK? Why, now I'm saying, why did you change the um, Because this is how I know how to factor. Okay. This is what make, does this make sense to you? Factoring something like this. Do you know how to factor a quadratic? Yes. Okay. So let's factor it. 16, negative 10. What two, num what two numbers multiply to give you positive 16, add to give you negative 10? Negative 8 and negative 2. Okay. So would you guys agree with me that this is x minus 8 times x minus 2? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you guys agree with me? <laughs> now, besides the powers of my exponents, Besides the powers, is this the same, are these the same problems, except for the powers? Yeah. OK. So remember, guys, if we were to factor this, this would be x times x equals to 0. Seven. Now, in this case, though, you guys should notice that I know that negative 8, and it's going to be negative 2. However, let's look at this. Is x times x going to give me x to the fourth? No, so what, should, what power should my x's be to? 2. two. OK, now we set them equal to 0, right? That's how we finish off the rest of the problem. So we have x squared minus 8 equals 0, x squared minus 2 equals 0. Now we go ahead and solve. Add 8, add 8, add 2, add 2. So we have x squared equals 8, and x squared equals positive 2. Now, to solve, we need to undo the square. To undo the squaring function, we need to take the square root. Square root. Now, hopefully you guys remember the square root of 8 can be simplified into the square root of 4 times 2. And the square root of 4, we can rewrite as 2, square root of 2. So x equals, and also remember, whenever you introduce the square root, that's plus or minus, right? Yeah. So that's plus or minus 2 square root of 2. And this is x plus or minus the square root of 2. So whenever you're taking the square root, make sure you guys include plus or minus. Um, and then make sure you guys can simplify your radicals if possible, if you guys can remember.